Hi guys, um, today I'm going to be making um, an old time favorite recipe of mine. Um, my mom used to make this a lot when I was growing up and I got the recipe off of her. It is Mandarin Parfaits. It's a very easy recipe to make, um, but it's really, really good. So, um, First thing, so you're going to need a can of mandarins and a package of um, vanilla pudding mix and you will need almond extract, um, however my friend that's coming over that I'm making this for a dolly day. Um, one of our friends has a nut allergy. So I learned that you can substitute almond extract with vanilla extract, but apparently vanilla extract is a weaker flavor. So you have to basically double what you would need if it was almond extract. And then you also need sour cream and that is it. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you put into the bowl is one cup of cold milk. So next you put in one cup of sour cream. And next is usually it would be a quarter teaspoon of almond extract but this time we are using vanilla extract. So I'm gonna put two of these. Okay, so then we need to combine all of those. We have to mix those really well. In the bowl. Okay, then we're going to add the box of pudding mix and it can be vanilla or French vanilla flavor. And <clears throat> this recipe actually comes from a Jell-O brand uh, recipe book. So of course they tell you to use the Jell-O brand pudding, which to me is the best tasting pudding but you can use any boxed pudding mix so put that in there and then you're supposed to use an electric mixer at low speed to beat it until well blended so I always like to get it started a little bit with my spoon just mix it a little then I'll get my hand mixer out. Okay, so we're going to do this at low speed. didn't splash too bad so I did it for longer than they said like I did it an extra minute but it's still kind of lumpy I don't know why 
For some reason, I can never seem to get these mixtures like completely blended smoothly, but it's okay. It'll still be good. Um, so now I have to drain the oranges and then we're going to layer them into parfait glasses. Okay, so we don't have official parfait glasses, so I like to use these crystal champagne flu flutes flutes. So anyways, I use one of these crystal champagne thingies. I don't know the name of them. Um, but you're going to layer the pudding and the uh, oranges. So I have these long parfait spoons. They're really small, so they get in there really nice. So I like to start off with a bit of pudding at the bottom. A little bit more. And let me zoom in for you guys. Okay, and then we're going to go and place a few mandarin oranges. Just plop those in there. Do about three. Okay. Then we do some more pudding. For some reason, I don't think we have, <clears throat> we're not going to have enough oranges. We should have bought two cans. That's just great. One more orange and in the picture it looks like they layer like three layers of orange and four layers of pudding. Our parfait dishes are not quite as large so we'll be doing it this way and you can also top it with um, like Cool Whip or something but I don't have that. So we're just going to do two layers of the oranges just because I have three others that I need to do. Now, if I have extras, like I'll just top them off with another orange. So let's get started on the next one. They do get, it does get a little messy trying to get them into these narrow dishes, but it's all good. three in there. Some more pudding. And try to push it down there. Some more oranges. And then you do need to refrigerate them for an hour before serving them. Okay, now I do have a couple of um, a few left. So I can put a couple extras on top. There we go. And I actually might be able to put a little bit of a little extra pudding on top of that. I might still just garnish the tops. There's like three or four um, oranges left. It's just kind of, you know. Do what you can, do whatever you want in terms of layering or 
how you want the final product to be. And I'll just add a little more on top of there. Now they're fairly even. We're just going to top it off. Top them off with an orange peach. There we are. That looks nice. And uh, yeah. Then we're going to put them in the fridge and let them chill for about an hour. <laughs> 